Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on today. All right, so they are working on these two power wheels right here. That is going to get us a little ways into getting this connected. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so Andrew had just told me that he thinks that if we open up the floodgate over here and over here, it would flow a little better. Now, I'm willing to test it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure that I can agree with the statement, but I'm willing to try it out because, I mean... To me, I, I really wish it would hold in position instead of making me do this. But to me, even though it's a structure when it's open, it shouldn't impede the flow. But that's me. That's my thought. I don't know what the devs have done. So maybe, maybe it does. And I think, I can't remember, there was someone else who had made mention of this before. So I do want to say that... Um, by no means did I ignore that original comment or anything, but it does seem like I'm still having issues with it um, backflowing a little bit. And there's two things that I'm going to address here. So one of them is this. Another one of them was that, and I think it might have been Andrew on this other one too. Um, another one was, I think we have somewhere... I think we put a set of da ah that yes we have these crisscross dams in here. I'm wondering if the crisscross dams is what's backing this up. Now I can't be a hundred percent for sure because I mean it worked for how long and then it stopped working, so that could be a problem, or it could be over here, or it could be a combination of the fact that it is both of them. Um, so I don't really know which one to, which one I'd like to point a finger at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this area back here because before I, before I added in the floodgates, it did, it did work without any issues. So I, with that, I do think that it might be an issue with the floodgates, posing as a structure even though it's open and it shouldn't restrict or reduce the flow um, so we're going to open that up and then we're going to knock out a block right here and we're going to see what happens because i like to test stuff uh, i like to see you know what affects things that way for the next gameplay we have a better better understanding of how things work um, now, speaking of a better understanding with things work, uh, I had another comment. Uh, this one was from Alarum in, uh, in my Discord, which any of you would like to join the Discord, there is a link down in the description. I do got a Timberborn section. Uh, I do get in there and we discuss Timberborn stuff. So, you know, feel free to hop in there. Feel free to post, you know, your Timberborn playthroughs, anything like that, you know, show me, show me what your cities look like, all that type of stuff. If you'd like to join, just click on that link and uh, follow the instructions to get in through my Discord. I've went over it a few times in some of my update videos. Not hard to do. Not hard to do at all. Wow, they got that thing super full, didn't they? But anyway, we were discussing stuff about how with the, with the update being so close, it might be a good idea to switch over to experimental and apply some of the stuff into uh, into our game into the end of a, of the of this series because I mean we are at the end of the series. I mean I could just keep expanding and expanding until everything falls apart and breaks. But I mean we've kind of we've seen how everything reacts. We've seen how everything works. Um, I was told in the update there is. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Still a little early for me. Um, it's it's early, but it's late in the day. If that makes any sense. Uh, but there's still um. Oh, what was it? What was I getting on about? 
um, there's some things that have been fixed, like some of the lag issues and stuff that we've been having. Some of that stuff got fixed. Uh, the new items, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can't remember exactly every single thing, but apparently the experimental is fixing a whole lot of stuff, which is great. That means like so, so much for the game. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do is probably tomorrow's video. I'll probably have the experimental running and we're going to test it out on the, on the back end of this build. Cause I think, like I said, I think we are to that point of where we've conquered the map. We've built a huge city. I mean, we're running, we're running at any, any time right around 500 to 500 and like 30 beavers i think it is somewhere in there depending on what you know what season it is um so i mean we've got a huge city all that we've beat the water back we've overcome the power issues we've done all that i would like to see how the batteries would work in our system so i really want to test those batteries out with our with our giant power grid um and depending on how big they are, this spot right here might be the best spot to to put those batteries. Sorry, I had it slowed down for some reason. But yeah, so we've got a lot of things coming. Oh, and on top of that, um, y'all will probably see this the same day that it comes out. But there is a new game coming out that I think think might interest everybody and uh hold on let me let me make sure i've got the correct title of it before i say anything uh the wandering village i don't know if y'all are familiar with that game or not but i was able to get a free copy of it from the devs and we're gonna start a series on that one so Everyone who enjoys the Timberborn series, I do encourage y'all to check out The Wandering Village. It should come out the same day. I don't know if it's going to be the same day as this video comes out or if I'm going to go ahead and release it the same day that I'm recording. Uh, but either way, look for The Wandering Village to come out. Um, it's a city builder survival game where you build on the back of this giant turtle-like creature. I don't know if it's a turtle, but it looks like a turtle. Kind of looks like a turtle. And yeah, it, it's one of those deals. I don't know a whole lot about it, but like I said, I do got a key for it, and I'm going to start up a series on that, so I do encourage everyone to go and check that series out as well. Um, that game won't come out until the 14th, so I do have a early access release to it. So be sure to come check it out, see what you think, and, uh, you know, if it's something you like, you might want to pick it up. But anyway, back into Timberborn. Alright, so, they are putting blocks over here. How are we on this side? We are not even, not even being worked on yet. Uh, and that's probably because, well, no, that would be, that would be this group over here. Are we, no, we've got logs. I guess they're just choosing to work this side first. Okay. Well, that's understandable. No big deal there. Okay. So, let's see. We are what? What are we? We are in the drought still. Okay. So, by the time they get that built, we should be back in the normal uh, the normal wet season. And then, of course, they'll get this built. Did y'all really get yourself stranded over there? Okay, beavers, y'all have got to, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all have got to, no, I don't, hold on, drop this down. Y'all have got to prioritize those so that those beavers can get out of there. I hate when they back themselves into a corner like that. Yeah, because, you know, oh, yeah, they can't walk backwards because of the legs. I'm like, y'all can just crawl over that stuff. Come on, beavers. Come save them. There you go. Work on that thing.
Will they live? Will they die? Only time will tell. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not say nothing about making that dude being built. Yeah, no, get that. Okay, y'all should be able to run out now. <laughs> the beavers, they do not care about each other. And that guy turned around, he took a step over and turned around and said, boom, it's done right in that beaver's face. He said, not my problem. Wow, not my problem. All right, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see what happens here. Oh, uh, the beavers, they're ruthless. They don't care about each other. They're like, nope. They said, I saw the opportunity to leave and finish my job. Therefore, I took it. Hold on. Yeah, see, y'all are trying to build that again. Stop. Let the beaver out. He doesn't want to be stranded. He gonna die. He is going to die. I can't click on him. Stranded beaver. Yeah, you're starving, all right. Starving and thirsty. Well, we'll see if he makes it to morning. He might. He might not. That other beaver, all I could say is shame on him. Shame on him. I tried to get it to where they could, they could uh, both escape, but no. Shameful. Did he just die? No, he fell. He fell from over here. Yeah. Okay, this might end up even being worse now. Yeah, because now he's down there, which means he's going to block that build. 92%. Nope. They... Sorry, Beaver. There ain't nothing I can do for you. There is nothing I can do for you. He died. He died. Poor beaver. Uh, all because of that other other beaver. He said, everyone for themselves, and then jumped. All right. Well, how high up are we? We're right here. Y'all beavers get this built. Like, in a hurry. Like, why do we only have two builders? Give me four. How many beavers do we have over here? Yeah, we've got a couple extra, don't we? One vacancy, four unemployed. Oh, yeah, because we've got that one turned off. Okay. Not a problem, not a problem. All right, building lacks materials. What building lacks materials? These guys, grilled chestnuts. Okay, which district are we in? We're in this district. Um, the chestnut trees are these? Yeah. So they just don't have enough chestnuts to get to get through. Did we have, we didn't have a spot down here that I could add in. No, we didn't. Okay. No, we didn't. So short of me knocking stuff out over here, we won't have, yeah, okay. I could add chestnuts over here. Whose district is this over here? Hold on, let me see. That is these guys' district. Okay, how are y'all doing on chestnuts? Um, y'all have three chestnuts, so y'all aren't doing any better on chestnuts either. Um, what trees do we have here? We have maple trees. I mean, technically I could do a gatherer and I could do a chestnut right here. I mean, how many, how many chestnut trees would that give us? And it's three chestnut per tree. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And if I do one here, that's twelve. 
because we'd have to have a road and a thing. So 12 times 3, that's 36. Uh, that's not a whole lot of chestnuts. I guess we could do it with chestnuts right there. I mean, it's not going to be the, the greatest thing, but I mean, we could do... We could do a little bit over here. It's not, like I said, it's not going to be like overwhelming where we can send them. But yeah, we'll we'll reinforce them with chestnuts. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll figure something out over here. Just maybe. Yeah. Maybe we can do some chestnuts down in here. Maybe that's what we'll do, is we'll put some down in this reclaimed zone. That might be a good idea, put in a thing of chestnuts. Because, I mean, we can always use them for wood, too, if, you know, the situation arises. But a little chestnut farm in there would probably help out, I think. All right, so we'll do that. And how we doing over here? We still, still draining. I think this is almost drained out. Almost. We've got, yeah, about half a block of water left in there. Okay. So we've got that. Uh, these guys are, okay, so we are starting to pump it back up. So that's good. And then I'm going to have to drop this one down. See, that's what I haven't figured out yet is it, do we need to drop it down? Because I don't know if this one's going to flood or not. Either way, we're going to fill this up. I think we're going to drop it down, though. So I have a feeling I'm going to come back in here and fix all this. But let's get this finished first. Now that our poor beaver died over here. That poor beaver. That poor, poor beaver. He didn't mean no harm to nobody. He was just trying to do beaver things. Alright, do we have a worker? We do have a worker. All right, so how are we doing on this guy over here? So we've got 350 out of 120. And we haven't got these connected just yet. Yeah, I think I think having those gravity batteries right here, I think that's what's going to be um, a thing. You know what? If we're going to do that, I just remembered that we're going to need uh, some observatories to power everything. Uh, let's see, what is that? 80 planks, 30 gears, and w wait, what? Is that pine resin? I think that is pine resin. Who, which, which area has pine resin in it? Um, you do not have pine resin. I bet you it's these guys over here. And pine resin, pine resin, 3,000 of it, yes. So it's these guys over here. Okay, so how big is an observatory? It is a three by three. Excellent. Um, where can we put a three by three building? Because I might want to do two of them depending on how everything works. That does, yeah, it ran red all the way down there. Uh, I could put them out here if we needed to. Okay, I think what we'll do is we will put them right here. Let's see, I wanted it to be a three by three, right? So that's three by three. Okay. Once again, lots of uh, platforms, but that's all right. That is okay. We'll go ahead and run that down like so. And then we will put two observatories, one right there, one right here. And that will prep us for the stuff because I really don't know how expensive it is. 
and I've already removed those little, uh, what were they, the beginning, the inventors. I removed those a while back, not thinking we were going to need them. But, I mean, we have 17,000, so I do have stuff that we can apply straight to it. But just in case, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, that way we get a little bit more. Plus, we haven't built any observatories this go around, so why not? Let's throw them in there. Let's see what we got going. We'll utilize our our beavers. Let's see, there's two there, two there. So that's perfect. That should use up just about all the extra beavers over here, which means we'll only have a few extra here and a few extra in the main district. And that should help get our beaver population somewhat under control. Yeah, use up another four beavers. Now drop us down to 48. So that's not too bad right there. Plus the new buildings that are going to come in from this district. That ought to help as well. All right. Very, very excited to see what we got going on here. How are we? Ah, they just got this one up here. Okay, excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till we're in the, uh, the wet season. And once we get this fully fully done i'll delete that row of blocks on each side and we'll see if the floodgates themselves have posed a uh a hindrance to the water in some way because i mean when we had it just open with the one block open before we dynamited it it didn't have any issues with flow so that is something that we do need to take into consideration is does an open floodgate present a restriction of some sort? And with as many water sources as we've got that's exiting out of the map right here, that's, you know, that's a, a good chunk of stuff to back up right there. But anyway, it should be all right. It should work out. Yep, they are working on getting that built. Excellent. And over here, let's see, did we... It was this guy, right? Already with the thousand... Wait, what did y'all fill up with? Spatter dock? And potatoes? Ooh. Um, hang on one second here. Did we... This is the one we were talking about, right? Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so I might actually need some more storage over here now that I'm looking at it. Uh... Now, I know, I know we had talked, I don't know, so I'm in, I'm debating. I'm debating on the proper way to do storages. Part of me says lots of free open storage. Another part of me says maybe dedicated storages. Another part of me says just let them, you know, put stuff where they want to put it within reason like you know like this area is like our baking area so like you know anything that does with baking goes over here or, you know this is close to a drop off you know segregating them in a different way or separating them i should say not really segregating but separating them um i don't know maybe maybe i need to put another another storage in. I mean, we could put one right here. We've got this guy. What are you loaded with? You're just loaded with a little bit of everything. Grilled spatter dock. How much grilled spatter dock do we have over here? We have a lot of grilled spatter dock. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just add in another, another storage right here. Just because... Just because we can and we will. We'll 
We'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and make it a non-desired. And the only thing we're going to put in here will be... Oh, no. No, no, no. Not that way. Do it the other way. Um, let's do... Let's do more of the baking stuff. So we'll do bread. I'll do cattails. We'll do flour. I'll do cattail roots. Well, we don't have any roots. Um, what else are we doing? We are doing... Do we want to do spider dock? I don't know if we want to do spider dock or not. We'll do wheat. and Well, we don't have wheat. We'll do wheat flour. And yeah, let me... Oops. Hold on. Do I want to add in more spatter dock? I don't know. I feel like if I add in the spatter dock, we're going to get overloaded with spatter dock because we are sending it over from the other, yeah, from the other area. So let's not do that. Let's just do the cattail flower for this one and we'll just kind of wait and see what happens. We'll let that go and do its thing. But anyway, so we've got a little bit of stuff done. We got the end of these power wheels done so we do have extra power coming from that we'll have this tied in like i said we're getting ready to go into experimental mode so that we can grab those gravitational batteries i think this will be an excellent spot to try to hook up a couple of those and we're going to test them out and we're going to see what's going on so tomorrow be prepared for experimental mode hopefully everything goes right and nothing goes wonky with the game so but we shall see. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.